All righty, fellas, let's talk about gear ratio. In this video, I want to talk about my experience and pretty much contradict to what I've been saying about gear ratios and my theory about them. Why? Because I haven't driven a 1,200 foot-pound vehicle at that time when I was talking about gearing, right? This thing having 1,200 pound of torque being HL, it really changed up the gear. This thing has 355s. Keep in mind, my 23 had 331s um yeah so i do have experience with 331s and i now have experience with 335s i felt like 335s is uh is a good balance but it's unnecessary i finally understand why right now that's the steepest rear end they'll give you in a in regular pickup yeah the 450's got the more aggressive one but a 250 350 ford I think the steepest rear end they give you is 355 right now and there's a good reason for it so 90 percent of you guys out there do not need a 355 there's no reason for a 355 in this truck um being that it, you know go down in the nitty-gritty 331s is plenty for it i know the number is not that far off but liking to be in the power band liking to cruise at a certain rpm i am surprised how well this thing pulls on low end being a v8 it does not have the mechanical advantage of an inline six but through tuning and the way they they do their thing by golly does this thing pull on its low end for a v8 it doesn't compete with the brute force of a inline six but it makes it up through different strategies i'm gonna sit down for a minute so this thing being 355, you can tell these tires aren't smaller than factory. They're a little bigger. They're only an inch bigger. They, they're wider, they're taller. And through my quick math, because I really wanna run 295, 65, 20 for, uh, for rating res reasons. I think this is a good balanced tire. Where's the uh, size right there? 295, 65, 20. Look at that road load rating 190 or 129 heavy duty tri peak. It's not about the tire, it's about the size. That size gives you, you know, 35 inch height. So, with 35 inch height, I guesstimated I'm gonna get two, maybe three miles quicker at 75. And I got my two miles barely, but I got my two miles. So, if my memory serves me right at 70 miles an hour i'm doing about 1600 rpm but that's not where i like to cruise at i like to be at 75 77 and the way everything's geared on this truck you're on the back end of the gear you gear guys will understand what i'm talking about so as you excel past that it, when you're in areas where it's 80 85 um you're exponentially increasing RPM. Now on a 330, on a 331, you're still on the front side of the gear, right on the graph. So as you're going 80, 85, you're about midpoint. Um, you really need to be moving to be on the back end of that gearing to start increasing RPM. So that's why I'm saying 331s. Um, given the power and the ability meaning the, the way the strategy that it executes to, to give you the power. 331s are plenty. 355s is not into the world. 355s are not a bad choice. They just don't give you the edge and fuel mileage and fuzzy feeling, cozy feeling, right? I like the 331s where they cruise at highway speeds, but I thought with 355s, I'll just be a little bit more. It's that uh, at 355 you're on the back side of the gear and you're exponentially increasing it's not end of the world for a guy like me that tows quite a bit i just don't tow super heavy okay my goosenecks are empty goosenecks five six thousand pounds on average and then i put ten thousand pounds on that so i'm 15 16 thousand majority of the time behind this truck so it's not that heavy given what it's rated for what its power is so therefore 331 is perfectly fine even to the guy like myself that's towing a lot around town if you're around town i could see 355s and you towing all the time i'm rarely ever at a 10th gear 
So I'm driving empty, I'm in 10th gear, I'm loaded, I'm in 10th gear. I'd like to use them 10 gears, you know. I'd, I'd hate for it to downshift four gears at once, but that 331 would be ideal for this truck, even with 35s. Now, if you go to 37s, I probably would tell you to go to 355. The 35 is kind of the tipping point. If you're if you wanting to run 37s, yes, go with 355s. But if you're the guy that's always on the freeway and you don't tow super heavy, highly advise you to go 331s. If you're the guy around town towing, go with the 355s. I, I hope I'm drawing a clear enough picture because this whole gear ratio thing is so there's so many little bits and pieces to it that you definitely need to gather all your information. Even though, like myself, I did all the math and I would have been where I thought I would have been, I still didn't equate to that. For me to be where I want to be, I need about 37-inch tire because your 37 isn't actually giving you a 37-inch of diameter. It's probably going to be about 36, give or take. So that's the math, math, that's the math that we fall short of. You don't believe me? Go measure your tires. That you think you got 35s on your truck. Measure them from the ground to the high. See how high you are. I know some of you are gonna say, well, you're bulging all this and that, but just do your own homework. Yes, you could do your math, but actual real world experience. Not everything on papers is correct in the real world. It doesn't equate to the real world. So that's my experience with it. That's what I'd advise you. Is there a mechanical advantage that I actually feel from 331s to 355s? Absolutely. I do feel it, and especially when I got to tow a gooseneck a little bit at higher speeds. I like the 355s. It gives me that advantage. But more so than not, I would rather have a 331 and just drop it in ninth gear for that time where I do need it. Hell, I got no problem dropping it in eighth gear, right? That one-to-one, -one, your transmission's not an overdrive. And you'll... Actually, eighth gear's not your one-to-one. -one. I think seventh gear's your one-to-one -one in these transmissions. But you see where I'm going with this. Um, it's not a deal breaker. Don't turn around. Just keep in mind, I ordered this truck, and if I, ordered a, if I were to order another one, it's definitely 331s because I'd favor those in the real world. Anyways, guys, that's my experience. That's what I found. And one could ask, at what point would you go 355s? You know, if you're averaging 20, 25,000 behind the truck, yeah, I'd tell you to go to 355s. If you're 15 to 20, you're perfectly fine, 331s on the interstate. You know, 331, 355 around town isn't that big of a difference uh, to, to say you should go one way or another. I could definitely, you know, mathematically, you'd put less strain on your transmission and your clutch packs with 355s, but that wouldn't be my deciding factor. Because I'm always on the interstate, I just didn't think that the 355s would be uh, that big of a difference to 331s. It's just, it's exponential. If, it, if I could have it my way, I'd be running 342s, to be honest with you. But I would go with 331s before I would go with 355s. Hopefully it makes enough sense to you guys so you could actually use this information and apply it in your application. As always, fellas, may the Lord bless you, and may you all have a mighty fine day. Ciao, bye.